In this video, we will discuss about Ontario photo card in detail. I will show you how to apply for Ontario photo card, what are the documents required, who can apply, what are the benefits of photo card and few important information before applying for Ontario photo card. First, we will know what is Ontario photo card. Ontario photo card is a card which provides government issued identification to those Ontarians who do not have a driver's license. You can use this card as a photo ID proof to open a bank account and any other activities which require official identification. Now let's see how to apply. You can apply for an Ontario photo card in person at a Service Ontario Centre or you can book an appointment through online and visit a Service Ontario Centre as per your scheduled date and time. Service Ontario Centre opens at 9 am from Monday to Friday. Only few centres operate on Saturday from 9 am to 1 pm. In order to get rid of standing in a long queue, you can go to your nearest Service Ontario Centre by 8 am itself and stand in a queue. Now I will show you how to book an appointment online. In Google type Service Ontario appointment. Click on the first link Service Ontario book an appointment. Scroll down. You can book an appointment online up to 4 weeks in advance of your visit. Now click on book an appointment. To book an appointment, what you need to know, you may be able to complete your service online. You can book an appointment to do more than one service at a time or multiple services. And also you should have email address to receive the appointment confirmation and reminder. Or if you require accommodation to book this appointment, then you can call these numbers. If you require a sign language interpreter or deafblind intervener, then you can click S. It will take approximately 2 minutes of time to complete the form. Now click on book appointment. Here you need to search for the services you need. I am going to search for Ontario photo card. Select get an Ontario photo card. Click next. Here you need to select the number of times you need each service. If your visit is going to be more than one person, for example, parent 1, child 1, child 2, then Select the number of times you need to do each service for your appointment. I am going alone and it will be one time so I am selecting only one. Click on next. Here you have to search for your nearest service Ontario location. I am staying in Mississauga so I am giving Mississauga location. My first nearest location is Eglinton and it is 2.29 km. And my next nearest location is Dundas which is 2.7 km. Let's check the available slots in Eglinton. This is for accessibility request. Service Ontario is committed to ensuring their services are accessible. If you need any additional support or accommodation during your visit, please let us know in the box below. We will do our best to accommodate your request. If any, you can type your request in this box. Here is the appointment summary. Service is to get an Ontario photo card. And location is Eglinton, Mississauga. Click on next. Here you need to select date and time. Appointment length will be 15 minutes. Oh, in July month there is no available slots in Eglinton. Let's check in August month. In August month there are only in 4 days we have available slots. I have to wait for a month to book an appointment. It's too long. If you want to check available slots in other locations, then click on edit next to location. I want to check in my next nearest location which is Dandas.
In Dandas, I can book an appointment on 31st. Select the time. I am selecting the first slot which is at 10.15 am. Here you need to enter your contact information. Enter your name, email address, language, your phone number. If you would like to receive our text message regarding appointment reminder, click on S. Click on confirm and book. My appointment is booked now. Here is the appointment details. I have received appointment confirmation email as well. You can confirm your appointment by clicking yes. Scroll down. Now my appointment is confirmed. This is how we can book an appointment online. Now let's see what are the documents required to apply for photo card. First document is passport either Canadian or foreign or any other proof which has your legal name, date of birth and your signature. Second document is your current residential address proof. It can be any one of the following document. It can be your bank statement, home phone or mobile invoices, utility bill, credit card statement, lease agreement. It can be either individual or joint or joint account bank statement to apply for ontario photo card you must be 16 years of age or older to get an ontario photo card or to renew photo card you need to pay 35 dollar this fee may vary depending on your ontario health card renewal date you can pay through either cash debit card credit card or certified check it will take four to six weeks to get your ontario photo card Photo card will be valid for 5 years. You must renew your photo card every 5 years. These are the benefits of Ontario photo card. Instead of your passport, you can carry Ontario photo card which acts as your photo ID proof. You can use this for pillow purposes since it contains your Canadian address. You can use it to open bank account, to apply for credit card, to take new mobile connection, to get new internet connection and performing other government tasks. These are few general information we should know about Ontario photo card. All residents of Canada irrespective of their status like work permit, study permit, visitor, PR, citizens can apply for Ontario photo card. This is very important that you should know before applying for Ontario photo card. If you have a driver's license and want to get an Ontario photo card then you must surrender your driver's license to Service Ontario Authority. Your driver's license will be cancelled when you apply for your Ontario photo card. Once you applied for Ontario photo card, the authorized person will give you an acknowledgement copy which has your Ontario photo card number. Also, you need to verify whether all the data updated is correct. I hope this video is helpful. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel.